So I would like to explore now some of the great libraries that are written and made for electronic percussion. And this particular library from a handheld sound is called Flying Hand Percussion. And why it's such a great library to play is because there are so many samples. All the articulations have been uh, recorded. And what we've done on the Diddy and the Jamcat is we put as many articulations as we can on one pad so that we can recreate that drum or create a likeness of that drum because all the articulations are there. So the library is done in contact and I'm, we're going to show maybe, um, I don't know, a dozen or ten uh, drums that have been made by them. And the first one is a drum called the Nal. And what we've done here is that on the pads, as you know, you can put alternate note patterns on a pad, or the software can put an alternate pattern in. It's called round robin. And there's different ways that they use round robin. Sometimes it's done in a cyclic way. Sometimes it's random. So in this particular example, the drum has a specific cyclic rhythm. This one's in four. So is this one. This one's in three. So when you play them, within the 16th notes, you hear a pattern with a pattern. And then when you add a 3 with the 4, you get this pattern. So across this whole drum, we have those kinds of things. For example, this one's in patterns of 2. the Nile drum. This drum is an Ashiko drum and what I like about the programming in this is that it allows dampening to uh, change the sound and because we are using FSR sensors it's a sensor technology that basically responds to pressure resistance as opposed to vibration which are piezos which most uh, drum trigger companies use, but we are using FSR so that we can get some more nuance. Let me show you what I mean. So here on a pad, hear that open sound? When I put my hand on this pad, it's closed. So that's the fun thing about this sound. This next sound is as they call the, the bottle. And I like it because of all the different little articulations on each pad. So when I play very soft, hope you can hear that. instrument to play. Another instrument they have is the ankle lungs and what I like about that is that you can have very short sounds, make them a little longer, even longer.
we have the standard conga slap and what are these same with the bongos And the drum sounds so live because of all the different articulations in it. Here's a gym, a gym belly, and the same thing using that pressure. Again, just chock full of the different articulations. And the way I've done it, that is highest, it starts getting more so that you can here's a frame drum, and I like this one because of the slightly different tunings on each of the pads. He's a conjurer. But when you put pressure on a pad and hold it down, you get this. Here's a clay drum with lots of little different articulations of the clay. Here's a shaker with lots of little articulations also. Hope you're not hearing the microphone that much. And because it's all shaken, you can use your whole hand on it. Here's a bass drum. And finally, here's an example of taking all those sounds and mixing, up up, mixing them up across the whole pad because each of the individual triggers can be on different MIDI channels. So you can have different drums. So again, this is the Flying Hand Percussion Library uh, from a company called Handheld Sound. It's in the contact format, and we're playing it on a Diddy and the Jamcat.